Shout out to Hibbit for getting these to me a tad early, you know, just in time for the release. Wow, I like these. This is definitely a cop. See the box, quick little unboxing for the one time, man. These are actually coming out on my birthday, October 2nd, so that's pretty fire. Huge shout out to Hibbit for getting these to me a tad early, you know, just in time for the release. I'm pretty excited for this, man. I just love, this is my favorite time of year fall. Obviously, October, you know, I just love the fall time, man. It's time to layer up. I'm gonna slice my finger. Spooky season, bro. We got the beautiful hues of orange and cream and black. So many great things to say about fall time, bro. I just love the fits that I can pull off. My style is impetuous. Simple tees under hoodie season, you know what I'm saying? So I'm very ecstatic to say the least. Initially when these came out, I thought it was going to be called like a shattered backboard concept, right? Same hues of it. I guess the most important thing is seeing if the quality is at that level. So we have your typical Jordan 5 box as you guys can see if we focus seeing there we go size 12 so let's see if the hype is there you know like do these look similar to the shatter backboards the biggest thing comes down to the quality of the sneaker right uh so but blam first thoughts was good no i'm just playing um cool fall vibes in full effect people wow i like these so you can kind of see, there's a sail upper, you kind of have like this textile mesh, the pleather, leather, whatever you want to call it. Again, very similar to something like the Off-White. I love that a lot of sneaker brands are incorporating different textiles. You guys have seen Nike with the recent Dunks. I feel like Dunks are successful in the aspect of, they have so many different materials on them and they just bring a different look, you know, a different aesthetic. Instead of your just basic all suede upper or all leather upper we have this really dope like i said textile mesh that looks awesome honestly and then you have this black kind of midsole not kind of but it is the shark teeth on the side are reflective a really fire um silver with you know the splatter on it it looks really clean this is one of those shoes that during halloween man you pull them things out get the disposable camera take a picture with the flash on and your fit mitt bro the mixture it'll look bussing like someone do it i might i might have to but yeah dude these are very very clean the toe box is kind of wrinkled which i like it's that more like soft buttery leather which is cool you could even go like fresh prints on them remove the laces or like throw on some black laces which loki that would have been cool i couldn't even tell you fives don't typically come with laces do they all the all the fives i had in my possession i, I can't recall right now but um, it would be cool to do a lace slop swap. These would be pretty cold with black laces in my opinion. And then, you know, you have that really bright orange jump man, another reflective tongue, very thick, good quality paws. But these are cool, man. Huge shout out to Hippit for sending these over, man. Like this is definitely a cop. So retail is going to be $190. They are going to release on October 2nd, which is your boy's birthday. Man, we getting old, bro. I've literally been doing sneaker YouTube. I've been doing YouTube. I'm going on my own story. Since like 2008, I had like hella channels. And then the sneaker thing, I think I started in like 2013. So it's been a while, bro. Definitely a lot of growth and development over the years. And it's, it's cool that I still have this passion for sneakers and love it. Really interesting is so with this mesh, so it's like it has a translucent outer, if we can get that to focus. And then these panels right here, um, I don't know exactly what you'd call them. They're kind of like a creamish, beige color which very interesting hint and I, I can see it on the camera so hopefully you guys will see it once i'm editing but yeah that that's really interesting now as far as like fives go i don't have too many left in the collection i've moved a lot of them uh one of my grails that i would love to have is like the dornbecker fives this is definitely one that i will keep just because they are so hard i have like a little small collection of sneakers that are just for october for halloween for example like right over here they're dropping another pair of these. I believe it's like a purple. I don't know if my, my camera has been bugging, bro. I need to watch some tutorials on how to get it to like focus all the time. But they're dropping a purple pair of these and they have the Mummy Dunks set to release that I need. Get me the Mummy Dunk. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll talk about it in a later video, but 
love it. Again, that dunk concept. Like, I love, Jordan Brand does a really subtle job of releasing kind of like Halloween-ish colors and sometimes Nike always releases these silhouettes and colorways, but it's after the fact. It's like after Halloween or after 4th of July, you know what I mean? I don't understand why they don't just do it for, and I get maybe there's like a shipping, production, all that stuff, but I know they got stuff planned like a year or two in advance, so it's just like, dude. So honestly, first thoughts of these, man, definitely a cop. I'll do the full review with On Foot, all that good stuff, kind of talk about the history behind it. But Nike is calling them the Orange Blaze, not the Shattered Backboard. You guys can pick these up on Hibbit Sports. October 2nd, I'll put the link down below. Most likely it'll probably drop at like 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time and 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yeah, yeah, they cool, man. Hello, hello. Y'all remember the good old days? It's a brick, it's a brick phone. Hello. If you didn't know, like, you know seashells? When you put your ear up to them, you can hear the ocean. With sneakers, when you put your ear in there, you can hear Mike Tyson say, L, that's a L, that's a L. <laughs> if you guys want to see the full in-depth review and on foot, you can click right here. But this is Boy Sneaker Life. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Run it. Run it.